Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody, you're calm down. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If this is your first time here, welcome. What else am I going to say? Thank you guys so much for all, all of the support on my last couple videos or videos in general. Just thank you guys so much. We hit 9K yesterday and I cried. <sighs> anyway, today's video is to get ready with me because, you know, what else do I do? I do have to, like, kind of do a makeup fast because the lighting is where it's leaving. Like it's it's leaving and also I'm using my iPad in a section of this video so I need to be hands-free at that point so today's video we are talking about Disney Plus again so if y'all don't know what launched yesterday Disney Plus baby so I wanted to make this video because I got because I made my video if you have not seen my video from yesterday or is, no, it's from Monday. If you haven't seen a video from Monday, go watch that. I'll link it up here. Um, it's a, just talking about all the general streaming services. And in the comments of that video and on my community post, I got a lot of people asking me to make a review of Disney Plus and like, a, should you buy it? Should you not? Is it worth it? And I'm like, of course I will, because I love creating content. So that's what I'm going to do today. But I would first like to start this off by saying, I told you so. It feels good to be a genius. It feels good. It feels really good to be intelligent. It feels incredible actually to be a psychic. I really love this feeling. I love this gift that I was given as a person. My bed isn't made. Oh well. I really love this gift that I was given as a person because when I told y'all Nickelodeon and Netflix were having a collab, I got stared. I did. I didn't. People agreed with me, but it just came out. They are in fact collaborating multi-year. They're going to be making like original stuff as well. And I would just like to say, I told you all so. I told you all so. Don't believe me. Go watch my video posted on November 11th and hear me say so two days before they announce it. I love being a genius. It really is such a gift. It's a gift. So, this is a review-ish while I do my makeup. I really should have done it when I was already had makeup on, but we'll get to that part of the video in a second. So, we're gonna first start off with what is on Disney Plus. Everything. Genuinely, everything. Cause you know, Disney owns half the world. They are a monopoly. We're all fine with it at this point. Because they own half the world and they own their catalog is humongous, everything you could possibly think of is on Disney Plus. Now there are a couple, sorry, I, keep, I have to stop saying that. There are a couple fan favorites that are not on Disney Plus and that includes The Proud Family. I'm The Proud Family movie is on there, but The Proud Family the TV show is not. I'm assuming maybe it's because they want to release sorry excuse me they want to release the new episodes because they're making new episodes they want to release those maybe at the same time as they have the old episodes up so that might be the reason why so that's one thing if you want to get disney plus because you want to watch a proud family you're good luck charlie because you're out of luck i have to concentrate because i really want to use my ipad for the second part of this video okay so yeah, that's what's on Disney Plus and I just, because when I was reading articles about Disney Plus a couple of months ago, they said that not every Marvel movie was going to be on there at first and not all of them are on there, but I looked, so yesterday I was scrolled through like at midnight on Tuesday or whenever the app came out, I was scrolling through and I was like, I don't see the Winter Soldier. <laughs> I was like, I don't see the best Marvel movie. Where is it? Oh, my second part of my favorite Marvel of the best of the rankings, all the Marvel movies, is going to come soon. Maybe this weekend. I don't really know. I have a test to study for, so I don't know. But I was looking for The Winter Soldier, and it wasn't on there. And then I was showing my friends, like, what Disney Plus has, and she found it. And it turns out The Winter Soldier is on there. And I got so happy. Like, that is my favorite and also the best Marvel movie, like, period. So that's just something if you like or want to get Disney Plus because of the Marvel movies, most of them are on there. None of the Spider-Mans are on there. And I just saw a tweet 
that they said they don't have any plans on ever putting them on there, which is terrifying. Not terrifying, I already own both Spider-Man Homecoming and Far From Home, so it's not a really big deal to me, but if you wanna watch Homecoming and Far From Home, they're not on there. What else? So the Disney Plus also has a bunch of original content. I haven't gotten the chance, nor have I wanted to get a chance to watch all of the original content, but I did watch the new High School Musical, the series. And that's what this segment of the video is gonna be about while I finish my makeup talking about this show. So, so, I watched the first episode last night and overall thoughts, it was good. It was a good pilot. It was a good first episode of a TV show. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think it did a good job of introducing all the characters. I think the characters are pretty interesting. The show is, if you've seen Glee, which most people who watch this channel I feel like would be the type of people to watch Glee. I love Glee. There's a sticker on my laptop. It's a whole thing. It's Glee-esque. The camera style, you know how that's like a, sh like a documentary, shaky documentary camera style? That's what, um, it's the same thing in this um, TV show. There's like the jocks, not really, because the, the the theater guy, like the hot one, who I don't think is the hot one, he's a theater guy. There's not even like jocks and nerds. It, it's a high school, so like it's it's very remnant of Glee, but there are some big differences. <laughs> If you've watched the episode, I just wanted to state this. I think her posting, if you haven't watched the episode, you don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to say it anyway. I think her posting that ukulele song, sorry, I think her posting that ukulele song was weird. I don't agree with how he reacted to it because he was an asshole, but I think her posting that was weird. Like you didn't say I love you to him before you went on Instagram and saying a song with a ukulele about your boyfriend who doesn't even love you back. Or he does, but like he didn't want to say it. Just, it was shenanigans, it was mess. My, another thing that makes it different from Glee is so on Glee, this is something that was unrealistic about Glee. Glee had such talented, like in terms of like the actors could actually sing. Like the actors could sing on like a Broadway. They had Leah Michelle, they had Amber Riley, they had Darren Chris, like they had people who could sing. On this show, they're not singing like the Glee. They weren't, they're not singing like the Glee girls were. They, they're, they're, they, don't, they don't have the vocal range. So when you hear them audition, you're like, that's kind of an underwhelming voice. Like to me, I was like, that's an underwhelming voice. But I think it's important to realize that like, it's supposed to be set in a high school. And unless you go to a performing arts high school, there aren't a lot of people at your school that will have like a Broadway style voice. I know my high school, we had a lot of people who could like really sing, like really sing. But then there were other people who could just like sing. And then that's I think what this show, what these actors are, they can like sing, but there, it's no Darren Chris, it's no Leah Michelle, it's no Amber Riley. Not by a long shot. Just wanted to let you know that part. That was all the good things about the show. Now there are some bad, some very bad. So there's only been one episode so far, so I'm not exactly sure how entirely accurate, I'm sorry, I don't have my bronzer. I'm not sure how entirely accurate this is going to be, but from what I've seen so far, we are following the same tired racist tropes that we've seen in every other teenage sitcom show, not sitcom, but like that type of show. And I'm literally tired of it. The only black girl in this show, so first of all, <sighs> the only black girl in this show is the main girl's best friend. The main girl is white and Asian, but she is white passing. This black, Imagine how tired I am. Imagine how tired I am. It, this this part did not fall on the floor. Um, so the only lines that the black girl had in this entire episode were sassy one-liners, her complimenting the main girl, or her saying, don't hurt, don't hurt the main girl's feelings. That is all the black girl said in this entire 38-minute episode. That is so disappointing pointing 
that is the same tired trope that I, we've seen from the black girl is always the sidekick. We didn't learn anything, anything about the black girl in this show except maybe her name, but I don't even, I don't remember anyone's name in the first episode, but like we, maybe we learned her name. I'm not sure. So like that is not good. I don't, I don't like that. So like that's something about the show that kind of threw me off. And also she was acting very slave like, like she was always doing the girl's hair. She was helping the girl prepare for her audition. I'm like, is she going to audition? She didn't. Imagine how tired I am. Gosh, literally I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna be physically ill. Who? So yeah, that's my review on that show. It's not bad. The acting, also about the acting, because some people were asking like, is it like Netflix original quality acting? Is it like Disney Channel quality acting? I would say it's, the acting is not good. I'm not gonna lie. The acting is not good, but I would say it's like the type of bad acting you can get used to. Like as you watch like two or three episodes, you'll get used to the type of acting it is. I would say in terms of a Disney show acting comparer wise, maybe an ant farm. No, they had, they were good actors on that show. Maybe a, hmm. If you watch Liv and Maddie, I only watched a couple episodes with like my cousins and stuff. If you watch um, Liv and Maddie, there were some good actors on that show and then there were some bad ones. It's similar to that, where like certain people act better than, like, like the usual typical Disney show. Some people just are better at acting than the other people on the show. So if that's something that like throws you off, you don't like bad acting, well, good luck, Charlie, because you're not gonna like, you're not, you're probably not gonna like this show. The acting isn't terrible, but it's also not good. But I'm pretty sure I'll get used to it. Like, you can get used to it. Oh, oh, this, this, sorry, I can't curse. This smells so nice. The ABH Dewey set, incredible. So now, I just told you about everything that is on Disney Plus. Not every, I can't, you can, I'll link some things down below where if you don't have Disney Plus, you can see what exactly is on there. Basically the list is gonna have every single thing they ever made because that is what is on the streaming service. It's everything Disney has ever put their hands into or has ever made. Ooh. I didn't make it fast enough to get to the second part of the video. It's called being a genius. I literally, I really called it. I really called it. They, of course they were gonna partner. Nickelodeon does not have a strong enough catalog to have its own streaming service. Neither does Cartoon Network. Neither of them, like, okay, that's a little bit rude. But, like compared to Disney's catalog, Nickelodeon's catalog is weak. If you weren't comparing the two, Nickelodeon has a pretty strong catalog, but when you're comparing the two, it's weak. It's pretty weak. And that's why they can't have their own streaming service, which is why it's very good that they partnered with Netflix, and that's very good why Cartoon Network is partnering with HBO. So that was my review of the High School Musical, the series. If you wanna see me live tweet it, I do live tweet it or I will live tweet it. And this is my Twitter. So now we get to the part where I have to use my iPad. Hey guys, so I just wanted to jump in here and like show you guys an actual overview of the app. Cause I don't know if a lot of people on YouTube are doing that to show what the app actually looks like. So I'm gonna just put it on the screen and I'm gonna talk and I'm gonna show you some things. So this is when you open the app, this is what it looks like. So it has its different everything Disney owns, Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, and National Geographic up right there. Then it has the, all the originals on first, then it has recommended for you, hit movies, trending, out of the vault, true stories, etc, etc, etc. I'll just scroll down so you can see everything on the home screen. There is no keep watching section, which is bupkis, but I'm assuming it'll come soon. That's one of my gripes with this app. The user interface is terrible. Then if you go to the search bar, 
it has all of the con has the this is the explore page it has you can search by originals movies or series and then it has different collections which is actually very helpful if because this app is so overwhelming if you just open up the home screen you're like it's too much so they have the through the decades collection 1920s all the way to now then they have the decom section they have everything everything then we got star wars we have the princesses collection they even have the sequels i mean of course they own it they have the sequels and stuff the nature collection darth vader collection then they have the disney channels collection they have this split up by series animated series and they also have decoms in here as well there's a Marvel animation section, a Muppet, Muppets collection, Toy Story. They don't have Toy Story 4. And there's also a Cars collection. And the next tab is the Downloads tab. I don't have any downloads on here yet, but there are some series and movies that are available for download. Not all of them are, though. And then this is your profiles. You can add, I think it's four or five profiles. We only have two right now. It's me and my brother. And then you can go to your watch list. You can add stuff to this is my watch list currently. And then app settings, account, legal, blah, 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 blah. They're definitely, since this is, this is a first time app, they're gonna come up with a bunch of updates and they need to, cause this app is, is pretty bad. Compared to the Netflix app, this is a pretty bad app. Like I'll just, let me just compare it. Like, why isn't my list already on there? Why isn't there a continue watching or a keep watching? Just general stuff. And like compared to the Hulu app, I can go here as well. Hulu has a keep watching and unwatched in my stuff. Like their app is needs some improvements, but that I just wanted to show you guys an overview in case you were curious. And then we'll go back to the video now. <laughs> Ooh. So that was everything that's on Disney Plus. If that's all you wanted to know about, Goodbye. However, there are some issues that I see with Disney Plus the app and with Disney Plus the streaming service. So let me start screen recording on my iPad actually so that I can. Hmm. How I don't know how to do it on here. Now what the damn hell? Oh, found it, found it, found it, found it. I'm sorry, that took me a while. So, there are some issues that I find with the Disney Plus app and the Disney Plus website. Mostly, the user interface is really not that good and I get that it's like a first time out streaming service, but if you're trying to compete, I mean, the issue is Disney doesn't have to compete with like Netflix or a Hulu or anything like that because they have this like almost near perfect catalog that targets nostalgia, which sells better than sex. You won't know that by now. But their user interface is not Great. Now I'm going to show you an example. I'm going to put it on the screen. So maybe I should like scoot over. I don't, I don't care. Okay. So if you go, I'll show you the Disney plus app. So this is the application that comes the Apple store. So it's cute, right? So then I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. So I've already watched stuff. So why is there no keep watching? Why when I go on the home screen, there's nowhere for me to, like I was just watching Phineas and Ferb literally 30 minutes ago why isn't it on the home screen for me to be able to see and this is another thing that bothers me so if i want to watch phineas and ferb right now i have to search phineas and ferb right and then i'm going to play a random episode so skip and chew at least it has a skip intro button which is good bare minimum but so let's go to the end of the episode so this is the end credit scene of this particular episode The server is bad or whatever let's try a different episode I'm a dumbass I'm a dumbass I'm a dumbass another issue 
it has a lot of network connection problems. That's what I've noticed with this streaming service so far is like more than because Netflix has its issues. Hulu has its issues, but like Disney Plus from what I've seen so far has a lot of like connection problems and it's more than I've seen from like any other streaming service. So I'll just play something else. I just want you guys to be able to see. I don't watch The Simpsons, but I'll just play it for right now. Okay, so I don't think it's gonna work. I'm a dumbass. Anyway. I'm a dumbass. Not like I was dating the dumbass. Important. I'll just say what I wanted to say. When you're watching an episode on Disney Plus, so you're watching an episode, right? And you know when you're on like Netflix or Hulu, that once you get to a certain point in the end credits, the screen will become small and then it'll be like play next episode. Disney Plus doesn't have that until you get to the very, very, very end of the end credits. So there's no button to press next episode. There's no button to say keep watch. There's none of that. You have to like, it's, I know that's so like minuscule, but once you don't have it, you realize how really important the net play next episode button it really is because now on the app or on like if you're using it on your computer you have to exit out of the episode that you're watching go back to the page that has all the episodes and then pick a new one that's annoying <laughs> they could really fix that because that's really annoying and then what else so the sub this is really really petty but the subtitles really piss me off like they're it's white text with black writing, which I literally despise. I'll put some examples of the Netflix subtitles and Hulu subtitles and then Disney Pluses. I just don't like what they look. And also they're really large. Like they're not a very good size. So they, they actually take up space on the screen that you can't see what you're watching, which makes no sense to me. Yeah, it's just, I've just seen a lot of user error that I think I personally think should be fixed. But honest to God, that is the only thing wrong with Disney Plus. If I'm being perfectly honest, let me put this away. That is literally the only thing wrong with it. If you're debating getting Disney Plus or not, there is a week long free trial. A week, they're doing it for a week instead of a month because they're releasing new episodes of their original series like High School Musical the series, they're releasing episodes every week instead of throwing it all at once. That's why it's only a week free trial because they don't want you to be able to watch the entire season off of month free trial. That's the reason for that. So I think if you're debating getting Disney Plus, there's two routes you could take. You could either one, get the free trial, go look on Disney Plus, see if stuff that you want is on there and then you can decide if you want to pay the amount you can go on youtube there's probably a walkthrough somewhere and there's lists of like actual everything that's on there and my rule has always been i need at least one show or movie for every dollar that i'm gonna spend so if it's seven dollars a month i need at least seven shows or movies that i can watch right there and then and for me disney plus passes that test with flying colors or seventy dollars a year which i think is a deal like robbing a monopoly blind not doing much but you're robbing a monopoly blind because so it's seven dollars a month that's 84 dollars a year and they brought it down to 70. 14 dollars is a lot of money like usually when that's done it's usually like two or three dollars 14 dollars is a considerable amount to save so if you have 70 dollars for the entire year i would say do that if you want to just spend seven dollars a month do that but let's say because I know people right now are like debating getting it they're like I don't know I don't know I don't know it is worth it Disney Plus is nostalgia if you like if you want to be able to watch things that will make you happy and remember a quote-unquote better time in your life kind of a no-brainer kind of a no-brainer to me honestly however you can always pirate it you can always pirate it, you can always buy DVD sets, you can always buy it on iTunes, so... And also, I have a feeling that they're gonna increase the price soon because when I saw $7 a month, I was like, that's it? Like, Netflix charges $16 a month for the highest plan. Hulu charges $40 a month with live TV. 
like they could have really they could have been like okay it's gonna be $15 a month and people would have still paid it so I'm like the price might go up so I would get it pay it for as low as you can for as many months as you can and yeah if you're really debating getting it I would personally recommend either getting the free trial for a week seeing if you actually use it you will you will seeing if you actually could see if you actually enjoy the way the app works or the website works and if you like it enough buy it I would I did so that's just me though so yeah that is my review can you review you can review an app that's my review on Disney Plus and to answer your question yes I think you should get it if you have the money if you have the means I think this is something you should really consider spending your money on if you want to watch the stuff that Disney has made and they've made everything so you I'm thinking you're gonna want to watch it and also if you didn't know you can download there not everything is available for download just like Netflix but a lot of stuff is available for download you can download it and watch it offline as well if that's something that you're interested in and let me just scroll through make sure I didn't forget anything about the app itself yeah see there's little downloads I don't have any downloads right now but I'm going to when I go back home in December yeah they have everything like ask if you, you, you have to ask if you're like is this on it well is it owned by Disney if it is it, it's probably on here like 99% there's just a couple of stuff that's not on here because I guess because of contracts with other streaming services or whatever and if anything Disney owned is that Disney made is on any streaming service right now that's gonna be gone in about mm, T minus nine hours. That's gonna be gone as soon as possible, which is why I think we should all, if you should, if you want to, you should get Disney Plus now, pay this price now, because I'm wholeheartedly believe the price is gonna start shooting up, shooting up. Cause seven dollars, like that's for everything Disney's ever made. That's not a lot of money, but that's just me. So yeah. I said all I wanted to say, all Disney Channel shows are on here, Disney Channel original movies, The Proud Family's not on here, sorry, but the movie is, if that makes it any better, probably not. <laughs> yep, and their original content, I've only watched the High School Musical series, it was pretty good. Like, it, it was good enough for me to, I want to watch the next episode. So yeah, that's my review on Disney+, Plus. I think you should buy it, and thank you guys so much for watching, make sure to like, this is Contour. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.